Hi there, welcome. Today's recipe is sea bass with Mediterranean salsa. Okay, first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the oven on mark number seven. That's mark number seven. Now, I've got this beautiful sea bass. We're gonna do three scores on the fillet. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do another three scores the other side. Now we're gonna remove the sea bus and we're gonna put it onto this foil for the time being and we leave it there. Now we're gonna change the chopping board. And we're going to start the salsa, the Mediterranean salsa. I've got one small red onion. We're gonna peel and dice small the red onion. The reason why we did this course on the sea bus because that way the sea bus will cook quicker and evenly as well. Now we're gonna dice the red onion. Half per sea bus is enough. If you're gonna do two sea bus, you can use the other half. But for one, half red onion is enough. Now we're gonna peel and slice two cloves of garlic. When it comes to fish, always tell the fishmonger to clean it for you. So, it will be nice and clean when, you, when, you, when it arrives to your home. Now we're going to slice the garlic. And we're going to add the garlic with the red onion. Okay? Now, I've got this beautiful tomato in here. We're gonna remove the eye. We're gonna give it a wash under cold running water. And roughly cut the tomato. This recipe is very quick, easy, and tasty. So if you are busy, you want something very quick after work, that's the tomato. You just pass through the fishmonger, Pick up sea bus, come home, do the salsa, and that's it. In 20 minutes, you've got beautiful dinner. Now I've got some black olive and green olive. We're gonna roughly cut like that. We don't need to lose 
much time with them. That's it. Africa, that's it. Green and black olives. And then I've got some capers in here. We're going to add the capers in here. And then I've got some fresh basil. We're going to add the, the fresh basil. That's it. And then some seasoning. Pepper and salt. And last, plenty of olive oil. Do not hold back with the olive oil. Mix it up. Give it a nice mix. It's beautiful. The basil, the olives, the tomatoes, the garlic. You see? Mix it up. Now, you see the sea bass in here? We're going to put the salsa on top of the sea bass. And we're going to close it. This is very important. When it comes to close the sea bus, make sure you close it properly. We do not need to leave air coming out from the sea bus. The reason why because we need the sea bus to cook with the steam inside. If the air escapes it takes much more time to cook and we lose all the aroma and the flavor. Now we're gonna transfer the sea bus onto this tray and we're going to put it in the oven and cook it for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes should be all right. For ingredients, method, and recipes with pictures, please do log on on our website, robnjs.com, or like us on our Facebook page, robnjs. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. And please do share our work so other families will benefit. Thank you very much for that. So now, like I told you, we're going to leave the sea bus there for, a, for about 20 minutes. It should be all right. By that time, either you prepare a salad or potato, or you can eat it by itself as well. It's okay. Now, after 20 minutes, we're going to take the sea bus out. Switch off the oven and transfer the sea bus on the plate. Do your best to serve it and leave the guest or the family member to open the foil. That way, 
all the flavors and the aroma smell will come up and uh, the guest family will smell what's inside sea bus with mediterranean salsa for more videos please click the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our youtube channel to receive more recipe ideas and thank you very much for watching and have a good day Bye now. Bye-bye.